So you just picked up a new NVIDIA Shield TV and you want to stream games from your computer directly to the TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do that using GameStream. Okay, so what you want to do is just go through the initial setup like normal. So when you get to the screen, it asks you what kind of apps you want to keep. Um, select the ones you want and go all the way down here and add Steam. And then just click continue. Okay, so now we're in the main menu. Click on NVIDIA games. Accept. All right, and here we are. So while we have this open, go onto your computer. Okay, so what you have to do is download GeForce Experience. Let's go here, download now, and it'll download, and then just install that sucker. So once it's done and it's asking you to log in, you have two options. Uh, you can log in with Google, which is what you use to log into the Shield TV. That'll make it a lot easier because it's just one login and everything will sync over. However, if you have an NVIDIA account or you just want to use that instead, you can just go ahead and sign in like you normally would. Whoops. Let's say you want to sign into GeForce Experience with your NVIDIA login rather than Gmail. Uh, you can also add it here by going to Settings, scrolling all the way down, Accounts and Sign-in, and then Add Account, and click on NVIDIA. So you can go to nvda.co slash login and then just type in the pin that it's showing on the screen, and then that'll sync up your GeForce Experience with the NVIDIA Shield. All right, so when you're in GeForce Experience, click on the settings icon, go to Shield, and then click here where it says Game Stream, and just make sure that's enabled. So once you click on that, you're pretty much all set on the uh, GeForce Experience side of things. All right, so I'm just gonna pair the controller right now. To do so, just go to the settings, and then down to, I believe it's remotes and accessories, add accessory, just press the Xbox button, and then the button on the top here. And then it'll start flashing and it should sync up any second now. Perfect, there we go, so just press that. So now we're good to go. So it looks like it just mirrors the uh, computer downstairs and it just streams it from there. So if I go to the basement right now, I'm actually going to see the game running. So that's how it works. Let's see if the latency is doable or if there's any uh, input lag or anything like that. So on the top right, you can see where the uh, reception is. Right now I've got two bars. All right, let's see how this is. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Like, I don't feel it any different from what I would if I was just in front of the computer right now. There is some hiccups in the audio. I can hear it like coming in and out. That probably could be solved with an ethernet cable. Right now it's connected with Wi-Fi. So yeah, it's basically going from the computer to the modem is ethernet. And then from the shield to the modem is Wi-Fi right now. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Like, let's see if you can see any of this. Press the button. So yeah, it's pretty fast. Not bad.
It may look bad, but it's pretty responsive in person. I'm gonna try to kill this guy, hold on a second. Oh, is he dead already? No, he's right there. So again, I'm gonna press the trigger. Hopefully you can see. Yeah, it's not bad, honestly. Like, I could totally play like this. Pretty happy with it so far. Oh shit! I still play with a keyboard and mouse if I could. All right, so one kind of bad thing is that when you play through through Bluetooth with your Xbox controller, there's actually no rumble. Uh, so something to keep in mind if you really need the rumble in your life. Okay, so let's quit. Let's try some Soul Calibur. So I actually found out a way to enable the rumble feature on the NVIDIA Shield using a program called Virtual Here. So to install that, what you got to do is go to the Google Play Store and then search for Virtual Here. Okay. All right, there it is. Okay, so just download this one, install, all right. Now going back to the computer, you also got to download it there. So just go to virtual here. Perfect, and then click here, scroll all the way down. And there should be an option for Windows, download 64-bit. Perfect, and once that's downloaded, you just go back to the uh, virtual here server on the NVIDIA Shield, go back. I'm gonna create a shortcut for it. So add here, perfect. All right, awesome, so you're gonna go ahead and open that. And then you're gonna take your Xbox One wireless adapter and plug it into any one of the USB ports. I'm gonna go do that now. Plug it in here, like so. All right, you're gonna get a prompt for allow virtual here USB server to access Xbox accessory. Uh, go ahead and click always open and then okay. Again, always open and then okay. Perfect, now we're good to go. Just go to the three dots here, if I can reach it. All right, perfect. And then start on boot. Coolio. Okay, going back to the computer now, we're going to open virtual here on the PC. And then you should see a USB hub, it might actually prompt you to install some extra software as well. So just go ahead and do that. And then you'll see it'll come up as USB hubs, Xbox accessory. So all you got to do is right click here and click use this device. And then also click auto use. So use this device and then auto use. And then I'll actually link up, basically what it does is it runs the USB through the NVIDIA Shield to your computer as if it was plugged into your computer. So this actually worked perfectly and uh, I was able to use my controller with all the features. You can even do it with other accessories like a steering wheel or um, any other game pads. So that's pretty cool.
Okay, so it's late at night. You got your friends over. You want to throw in some Mortal Kombat. And you're going through your games and it's not there. Which is weird because all my other Steam games are here. So I'm going to show you how to add this one to the library. That way you can uh, play it as you please. Okay, so let's see how to add a game on GeForce Experience. Let me just open up the app here. So remember that little settings icon we pressed earlier? Just go there, click on Shield, and then Add. And then basically go to the install folder for the game that's missing. Nope, that's not it. All right. So in this case, we're adding Mortal Kombat. Click on it here. And then you need to find the uh, .exe file. So this should be interesting. Okay, so I figured it out. So go to Add. And then we want to add Mortal Kombat. So I had to dig around and see where the .exe file was located. So go to the directory common all right and let's see here so mortal kombat click on binaries retail and then here we have it so just double click it and then we can go back to the uh, nvidia shield here okay so games my games should pop up right here There we have it, Mortal Kombat 11. Just hit play. And there you go, isn't that pretty cool? All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you want, leave a like or comment and I will see you on the next video.